Marty writes, Czar, back in the late 80s, there was a group of awesome entertainers known as Shoestring Kids. They performed hundreds of shows and parades in and around Houston at fairs and festivals. The shoe traveled to California, Ohio, Omaha, Nebraska, and Canada, just across the border. The reason I'm contacting you is because I would like to have your help if you'd be willing. The kids are all grown and the shoe is no longer stomping around. I have been very busy working with old VHS tapes, hoping to share with those who care to watch. I have dedicated a channel on YouTube, at Shoe1984, Shoestring Kids. I thought if you'd ask your massive audience if they recall seeing a really big shoe rolling around, or if they happened to see one of the many shows. Truckers used to holler out on CB radios that they knew they'd been on the road too long because they just saw a shoe pass them up. Or, hey, the old woman must have had her home repoed. Here's a little video I put together to tell the story of the shoe. We'll put that in the Daily Blast today. If you're not getting our Daily Blast, just go to michaelberryshow.com. And- Deep in the woods of Magnolia, Texas, I was a stay-at-home housewife making a lot of babies. Soft sculpture dolls, to be exact. Everybody wanted them, so I knew there was a market. I asked my husband if he could build me a gingerbread cottage on a trailer so I could use it as a storefront for my dolls. And he replied, what about a big shoe? To which I said, a big shoe? He says, yes, you know, like the old woman that lived in a shoe. I became so excited and said, that's it. It's perfect. In 1984, the shoe was commissioned and built by Lee Shane and artist Jack Bridges, who built parade floats and the statue of Big Tex for the state of Texas. Artist Jack made the fairy tale shoe come to life. He used an original shoe he had previously created for a mall window display as a prototype. With the shoe in production, I made a trip to Taiwan showing them exactly what I wanted, a complete replica of my hand sculptured dolls. The shoe was going to be a way to showcase the dolls. Tories R Us wanted to carry my dolls, but I was having a difficult time securing my product. The last straw came when they wanted to use a vinyl face and needed me to commit to a large order lots of money. At that time, customs were seizing shipments of dolls that resembled the famous Cabbage Patch dolls. Afraid to risk a huge loss, I decided to stop production of the dolls. Now what do you do with a really big empty shoe with no product to sell? Well, after two years, We wrote a play and produced a musical that eventually led to the shoestring kids. Real, live, talking, singing, dancing dolls, ranging in the age from 3 to 22. The group ended in 1991, leaving behind a lot of smiles and positive attitudes. The shoe was sold to someone in Mississippi. The variety shows ended and the shoe became a novelty landmark along with uh, their other odd items. One day I may write a longer story of the many adventures experienced along the way. Hope you enjoy these videos of yesteryears. The story will continue as I save and edit many hours of video and photos of the awesome shoestring kids. Thanks to all the parents and kids who believed in making the world a better place.